Russell for telling T.C. that Chad didn't drug Whitney. Now those two are ripe for a love connection. When I'm trying to make Harmony ripe for suffering. <laughs> I'm sure you'll manage to pull the plug on any chance Chad and Whitney might have at happiness. <sighs> I won't stop there, no. I'm gonna make mincemeat of Eve and her entire family. Yo, witchy poo. Come get a load of this lovey-dovey stuff that Simone's fearing decay. Oh, I'll pass, thank you. I don't know why you're torturing yourself. You're right. I should be out torturing the townsfolk of Harmony. So much evil to spread. Such little effort doing it. to show Kay the good luck gift I bought Whitney. <gasps> yeah. Ah, uh, she has a big tennis tournament coming up, and I wanted to let her know that I was rooting for her. How nice. She's going to love it. Thanks. <laughs> I wonder what Chad's getting her for good luck. Why would he? Oh, well, they're dating, aren't they? up to this, Kay? No. Put me up to what? Telling me that Chad and Whitney are a couple because they're not. Chad is my boyfriend. Okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. If you say so. I just always see Chad and Whitney together, so I thought... That's because they're caught up in the whole fallout between Ethan and Teresa, but they are not a couple. Yeah, I'm sure that the fallout between Ethan and Teresa are the only reason that Chad and Whitney are always together. Despite the fact that your father forbid them to see each other. See, I don't have to keep an eye on my boyfriend, Kay. No one in my family is trying to steal him away from me. Too bad every girl is not as lucky as I am. What do you mean? Just that... You never know when some other girl might be trying to steal McGill away from you, Charity. Okay, that's enough. Excuse us, please. Why does everyone keep thinking that Chad and Whitney are a couple? Why don't you turn the TV on? We can catch our favorite soap on NBC. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Knock it off with this Whitney and Chad stuff. You're really upsetting her. Oh, deal with it, cuz. I'm just speaking the truth. Hey, uh, Simone, will you turn that up for me? I hate it when they interrupt us so for the news. We have late breaking news from Harmony's courthouse where confessed killer Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald Crane has just been sentenced to death for the murder of her husband, Julian Crane. What? Poor Miguel. Oh. Let the good times roll. The condemned heiress is awaiting word of her execution date, which we understand will be rendered by the judge momentarily. Wait a minute. Is that Whitney in Chad's arms? 